morning, everybody. This is Chris Scanlon at Capital Sales. Uh, we do have a lot to cover today, so if you guys have any questions, just post them in the questions box, and we'll take as much time as needed after the webinar. And as you can see, uh, lovely face right there, Andrew Turner from Sony. Andrew, are you there? Ah, don't forget to oh, unmute. There we go. Now I should be here. Hopefully you hear me okay. I hear you just fine, Andrew. Uh, right, we'll let you uh, take it from here. All right. Hey, well, good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me here from my uh, live home studio here in Bedford, Texas, where uh, I've been, uh, been uh, you know, really transitioning here to a virtual training model. So it's been a whole new world of, of you know, getting to know how to do broadcast, uh, <laughs> broadcast training and everything. So hopefully uh, this is all going well. I've uh, had, had a little while to work out the kinks, so we should, uh, should go pretty smooth here. Whole lot of information here to cover today. We're going to be hitting up on the 2020 uh, Sony TV line. Uh, so we're going to go through the lineup here, kind of show you what's changed from last year, uh, give you some selling tips and how to uh, how to quote the best Sony TV for uh, for each application that you're working with. So let's uh, dig into the lineup here. Okay, hey, so uh, when we look in the uh, the TV line uh, this year, we really again focus on what we do best, and there has not been any change of that. It is all about picture quality for us. This has been our number one focus for years, and it will continue to be our number one focus, as picture quality is the main reason why a customer wants to buy a Sony TV. We also look at sound quality. Sound quality is also very important to that movie going or that TV viewing experience. You know, I don't know of anybody who's, went to, who's, who's seen a silent movie in a really long time. So sound quality is very, very important not only looking at great sound quality here from the TVs themselves, but also how we can integrate sound quality, great sound quality of these TVs into your, uh, your external surround sound systems. And then finally, we're looking at user interface capability. You know, while as great as uh, a picture quality and, and, and everything is on TVs, the number one thing that gets people buying new TVs is a lot of the smart interaction and capability. So we want to make sure that we have really great uh, interaction with not only Sony hardware, but also your third party systems as well. So usability is a huge factor for us. So let's uh, kick off here starting uh, to talk about picture quality and how this affects the lineup. So when you look at the lineup here, uh, as going from an entry-level 750 all the way up to our flagship OLED, uh, 8 OLEDs and 8K displays, and the main step-ups here are about picture quality. So when we break the lineup down into a couple of different categories, we have an entry-level uh, displays, our 750 and 800 series. The, we have our step-up. Uh, with our 8K display, or, I'm sorry, our 4K full array LEDs. We have our OLEDs with the amazing uh, A9G continuing and the new A8H series. And then we, last but absolutely not least, are the 8K displays, the Z9G continuing, and the new Z8H series, which is uh, shipping here very, very soon. So uh, when we break down the lineup, uh, starting with the 750 series, uh, this is our kind of where what we look at is a simple is better. When we start looking at how a TV is developed, we have to make choices because, you know, if I didn't have to make any choices at all on a TV, everybody would be getting a 98 inch Z9G with our ultimate process or our best process or our best backlight system, our best resolution, our best of everything and the biggest size, right? Well, unfortunately not everybody's putting in a $60,000 television. So we have to make choices in what TV is right for an application based upon picture quality, uh, based upon features, based upon sound quality. You know, we have to look in you know, what type of devices are going to be connected up to the system. So we have to really, again, break that down into a number of choices. For our 758 series, where simple is better, we said we are going to go with very good picture quality for an entry-level TV, but we had to make choices to eliminate a number of things to be able to hit a particular price point. So it's under, important to understand where this TV is good, but also really to understand its limitations. So what makes this a great TV? Well, first off, it has our X1 processor. Our X1 that's in the 750H series is an extremely powerful processor, far more powerful than what you're gonna find at any other TV at this type of price point. Uh, it does things like our 4K X Reality Pro processing and our dynamic contrast enhancement processing that really gives this TV, again, picture quality that far exceeds its price 
uh, price expectations. So how does this 4K, uh, or the, ah, come on, if I get my remote control to work right here today. Okay, so the key factor of our X1 and what this does, and also the reason I'm gonna kind of start from the bottom here and work our way up, is because these technologies will build upon each other as we move up through the line up here. So when we look at the 4K X1, what this is doing here is, uh, first off, it's taking our incoming signal. It's got to figure out what kind of signal we're working with. Is this a streaming? Is this a broadcast? Is Is this a disk based? What resolution? What? By understanding what that resolution is, now we can apply the right processing algorithm in real time to extract the most detail, color, contrast, and clarity out of that image. We're going to rebuild that image to be more accurate, to, re, re, uh, to fix the problems that happened in the compression process, to give you the widest color depth, to give you the best contrast. And again, nice thing is this uh, technology really works its way up throughout the entire lineup, all the way up to our 8K resolution displays. And again, by doing all of this in real time, our reality creation processing, thousands and thousands of images in our image database that it looks at to look at, you know, trees, clouds, animals, patterns, cars, you know, all these different elements of an image, rebuilding that detail that was lost during the compression process. So the 750H, Again, in giving you a simple TV, it, you know, look at the back panel. It is a pretty simple TV here from its, you know, get, again, I'll turn around here this morning, from its, con, uh, its connections, its, uh, its build. It is a little thicker. It is a plastic uh, panel uh, for both the, uh, the front bezel and the back. The rear panel connections are a little bit more limited. Very important things on the 750H. While it does have a network connection on it, it, it has Wi-Fi, it has uh, your network port on here, it has Bluetooth. It does not support Bluetooth audio. It does not support um, IP control. It does not support serial control. It does not support IP, um, uh, direct IR inputs. So when we look at this TV and building it as a basic TV, we gave up a number of different features here on this TV. It's a good picture quality, but without any of these additional control capabilities. And again, where picture quality you know, is important here, we want the X1, we have our Tray Luminous, we have our X Motion, uh, our, our Motion Flow XR240 processing. It does have Android TV. It does not have Apple AirPlay. It does not have uh, Amazon Alexa integration. It does not have our pro mode, which is very important. If you've been to any of my pro mode webinars, uh, our pro mode is not in the eight or the 750 series. And again, no IP control, no serial control. So very limited for installation capabilities. So understand the limitations here. You need a TV where uh, that's our introduction to premium that has all of these capabilities. This is where the 800 fits in. The 800 is really the entry for our channel. Wide range of sizes, 43, 49, 55, 65, 75, 85. So a really wide range of sizes. And it's a, a considerable step up from last year's 800G series. So the 800G last year where it had the uh, 4K X, uh, X reality processing, now we've gone to the X1 HDR, which gives us more capability. We've gone to a direct LED, which makes it a whole lot brighter. Uh, we've gone to a better audio quality with our new X-Balance speakers. And we've gone to an even better app implementation of Android TV with our new system on chip. That's about 60% faster than last year. So a huge step up from last year's entry-level 800G series with the, uh, the H series. Adding that X1 HDR processor, we're adding a number of different elements to it here. We're getting that 4K X reality, but we're also picking up our dynamic, in addition to our dynamic contrast enhancement, we're picking up our object-based HDR remastering. So we're getting a number of additional things here with this X1 HDR. But with the X1 HDR, we are picking up, again, big one is that, uh, that HDR processing. We're doing 4K X reality, but we know where all of your content is coming from, just like we talked about with the 750. But we're also picking up this X1 HDR uh, uh, process of re HDR remastering. So we take all of your content, whether it was originally SDR or HDR, and up converting it in a frame-by-frame -frame process to give you 
HDR content with all of your, you know, regardless of your original source content. So that type of performance is really impressive out of this TV. Because we are doing this frame on a frame by frame process, that means the 800H also supports Dolby Vision. Uh, so whether you're getting your content from Disney Plus or Netflix or uh, Apple TV or any of your streaming services, or external sources that support Dolby Vision, you're gonna get a great implementation of Dolby Vision on the 800H series TVs. And this goes all the way up through the rest of the lineup here. So uh, you know, when we look at the color depth of this display, it is also a triluminous. Now, when we talk about triluminous, we are really talking about a color philosophy. You will see many different Sony TVs labeled as triluminous. And this is very different from the, from the other guys that really try and hitch their technology onto a single, uh, or their, their color technology onto a single single system. Whether it's OLED, whether it's uh, you know, uh, QLED, whether it's you know, whatever, you know, quantum dots and all that other good stuff. Triluminous for Sony is a philosophy of getting the best possible color regardless of the panel technology. So for us, uh, you know, this scene right here behind me, you're seeing this is actually on the scene of the, uh, the set of the Avengers. Uh, the cast and crew here looking at one of our Sony BVMX 300 reference OLED monitors. And that is the production standard uh, for TV and film production. Uh, so this is that, that goal, and we wanna try and make everything we do match as closely as possible to this. So this means we have OLED or uh, triluminous display in LEDs. We have triluminous in OLEDs. We have triluminous in projectors. If we just wanted to go on one single technology, it wouldn't be this type of Academy Award winning color accuracy. And we would get stuck on looking at older technologies like, you know, quantum dots. Hey, big deal. We did those back in 2013. It's not about hanging on to one technology. It's about getting the best color across the entire spectrum of displays. So again, whether it's an LED, an OLED, or a projector, we're going to be able to provide you this wide range of color, uh, with our triluminous displays that, uh, that use our backlight, that use our panel and use our processing to give you the most accurate color possible in the home environment. So that's really what a triluminous does for you. It's a wide color range, the most accurate color, and it's in all of our displays from the 800H on up. Motion Flow, Motion Flow XR240 processing. This is a, uh, a really amazing processing for this quality, uh, uh, this price point of TV. Uh, and again, this is actually even in the 750 series. So how our Motion Flow processing works is we are the hands down leader in this. You know, when it comes to fast motion and sports, hey, all movies are, are all uh, sports are shot with Sony cameras. When it comes to movies, hey, who shoots more movies than anybody? Sony. We know motion and we know how it works right. We have a very fast response time on our panels, but more important than that fast response time is knowing how motion processing is done properly. And how our motion flow works on these, uh, these panels, even though these are only 60 Hertz panels, we are giving you 240 Hertz effective frame rate with our motion flow XR240 processing. Nobody else is doing this at this price point. What we can do here is instead of just taking that one signal and doing some simple frame interpolation as everybody else is kind of doing here at this point, we can take that signal, we can from the original frame, add the frame interpolation and then create the next image, but we also can add in black frame insertion and then more frame interpolation and more black frame insertion. And so what we can really provide you here is the smoothest, most accurate picture possible, again, and with our Motion Flow XR240 pr processing at this price point. The only downside to doing this black frame insertion is it does lower your brightness a bit. Now, remember I mentioned here, the, these are uh, brighter than last year with our direct LED. LED, we're 50% brighter. That helps to negate the, the black frame insertion. Uh, but what you're gonna find is other manufacturers have started doing this, especially in their top end TVs. But it all has that, that downside of making your picture a little bit darker. We'll talk about how we address this and we fix this problem here when we go to our next step up display. So when you go into the 800H, it is a premium design. We have our full jack pack with all four HDMIs, our, U, our, 
our um, IP control, our serial control, our direct IR input. So if you're putting this in as part of a control system, you don't have to have a flasher, uh, IR flasher on the front. It can go right in the side panel, uh, or again, IP or serial control for all your favorite control partners. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, it's a really solid system that we're gonna make sure we work well with, uh, with all of the partners that are out there. So great control capability. And it also has our pro mode, it has your X1 HDR, our X balance speakers with Dolby Atmos audio support and uh, for integration with third party systems as well. Oh, man, my can, batteries must need to go. Um, it does support uh, not only full Android TV, but we also support Apple AirPlay and Amazon Alexa integration. So you've got really, uh, really great control with those third party systems as well. The 900H. The 900H is probably going to be our most uh, kind of popular selling TV on the mass market channel. And the reason why is this TV has a really great picture quality, but it also checks off a whole lot of boxes. You know, when a customer is shopping at a Best Buy, uh, for example, here, they are looking at, uh, you know, all the fact tags on the walls. Every TV is in torch mode, which is hideous, but, you know, don't get me started. Uh, but, you know, big thing that they look at is how many, you know, how many check marks are on those, those fact tags and which one they can they get for, for the lower price. Uh, so keep that in mind. And also remember, we said, I mentioned we said we have to make choices when we build a TV. So when building the 900H, we built the 900H to be kind of that mid-level price point that checks off a whole lot of those boxes in what we can do with the TV. So uh, there's a number of advantages to the, uh, the 900H that you're not going to find on any other Sony model. Now the common thought is why wouldn't I have these features on every TV? Well, we'll get, let's get to that. So what we have here, picture processing wise, it's the X1 HDR. It's being brought up from the 800H series, but adding the X1 HDR, or having the X1 HDR here on the uh, 900H, it is also giving us the, uh, the additional input of precision color mapping. So we're expanding that color space from an 8-bit up to a 12-bit color space. So we get that much bigger box of crayons to work with, a whole much, uh, bunch, uh, much wider color range. We're getting full array local dimming. So instead of being a panel lit, direct lit LED as we have in the 800, where the entire panel brightens and dims as a single unit, with the full array local dimming on the 900H, I can turn off and on each individual segment uh, separately. So uh, I can really control this for great black level, great brightness, great contrast. And it's a big step up from your, nine, uh, from your 800H series. Uh, it adds X motion clarity. Now I mentioned you know, the 800H does that panel dimming uh, or that black frame insertion, which lowers your brightness when it comes to motion. We fix this with X motion clarity because instead of dim blacking out the entire frame, we're just blacking out very small segments of that frame. So what does X motion clarity do for you? It gives you the best motion that's bright and that's clear. So hands down, we have the X motion clarity is the leader in the, uh, the clubhouse when it comes to motion processing. Every reviewer, every critic out there says it over and over again. Sony is hands down the leader when it comes to motion. And our X motion clarity is a huge part of that. Netflix calibrated mode. Netflix calibrated. What this does for us is using the internal app. Uh, we can give you the most accurate images possible coming from sources like Netflix. Why? Well, Netflix does all of their, their uh, video mastering on Sony monitors. So we know exactly how all the content was mastered for Netflix. One simple switch, go into the setup menu first time you launch Netflix, turn on Netflix calibrated, and every time you watch something on Netflix, it's gonna be in the absolute most ideal color, brightness, and everything for watching net, that Netflix content. Uh, now, those features. Big one uh, that the 900H has is a next-gen TV. The next-gen TV is our ATSC 3.0 tuner. So what, what this means is when we, uh, you know, if you were in, lucky enough to be one of these, uh, you know, 20 initial markets here uh, for ATSC, we've got about 40 coming on, hopefully by, uh, by early next year, uh, we are going to be able to get 4K over the air broadcast. Now, this is a very new technology that is just now rolling out. 
okay, well, cool. Why don't we want this in every TV? Well, the reason we don't want this in every TV is these tuners are more expensive. These tuners are much more limited in their availability. And quite simply put, there's not enough of them to put in every TV. So when we made the choices on where this, this tuner is gonna go, we had to look at availability, we had to look at price point, and where could we fit this into the line with appropriate picture quality and, cap and features. And that's where the 900 really made sense to put this only in the 900H for this year. Now next year and beyond, honestly, you're probably gonna see this in a whole lot more TVs. But you know, very few TVs this year from Sony or other manufacturers will have ATSC 3.0 tuners built into it. Okay, well, what about if I want 4K broadcast? This sounds great, right? Okay, no problem. No next-gen tuner, no problem. Available today, you can buy a third-party next-gen tuner, and I can plug it into any Sony 4K TV going all the way back to 2012. I can plug it into any Sony 4K projector. I can plug it into any Sony OLED. I can get this next-gen tuning capability on any of Sony 4K display. So no tuner, no problem. If this is a big deal to you, hey, we can always add this external tuner. Now today, this is a pro level tuner. It's about 900 bucks, but there are going to be third party tuners coming on the market here probably by the end of the year that are in that sub $200 price range. You know, something very consumer friendly that we can add to other TVs. The other feature that this guy has that is not on any other Sony TV this year is uh, HDMI 2.1. Now, if you've been reading any of the reviews and looking at what the critics are saying out there, they're like, oh man, Sony, Sony messed up by not having HDMI 2.1 on every TV. Well, again, it comes down to a cost and availability and how effectively we could, we could roll this out. HDMI 2.1, again, your, your spec heads and people looking at all those check marks are just gonna say, hey, you gotta have this. Okay, well, let's look at this. Why do we really need HDMI 2.1? And the reason we need HDMI 2.1 comes down to one word, gaming. If you are huge into gaming, if an Xbox 360, uh, PlayStation 5 is, is the number one, th uh, or not Xbox 360, geez, the Xbox X, uh, you know, uh, I'm not ashamed don't bring that to what they're even calling their next generation or a PlayStation 5 is that's if that's the number one thing on your shopping list here for Christmas hey you might want a 900 H over other models but if the best picture quality is your number one thing that you're going for um OLED 8Ks or 958 series are your best picture quality televisions. The 900H is a very good one, remember I said, that checks a lot of those boxes, but its key reason is to be that mid-level TV with all those feature sets on it. Does things like 4K 120, does that affect you at all for watching movies, sports, streaming, any other, any other content? Absolutely not. VRR and ALLM, do these matter at all for watching anything other than gaming? Not at all. These are purely gaming functions. So when we look at what these do, variable refresh rate and ALLM, variable refresh rate, again, 100% for gaming. If that's your number one purpose for buying this TV, the 900H might be worth looking at. Auto low latency mode. Auto low latency mode is the ability with select sound cards, uh, or I'm sorry, video cards or gaming systems to automatically put the TV into gaming mode. Again, if that's your, your primary feature, well, you might wanna, yeah, this might make sense. But again, that's also why we are in this business as integrators. We have discrete commands for our game mode you put our TV into game mode uh, with a macro uh, that's, you know, hey, when I go to my PlayStation, I go to my Xbox, I go to my, any, any of my systems, you build your macro to put the TV into game mode. And you're going to have, you know, this capability. You're going to have that, that low latency mode for gaming. And again, no auto low latency mode, no problem. When you put a PlayStation 5 with our TVs and the picture mode goes to auto, the TV is automatically going to go to the game mode for PlayStation 5. So again, that's kind of our relationship was looking at that PS5 connectivity. No auto low latency mode, no big deal. Oh yeah, and this works on all of the TVs, the 800H and above. Oh, and we've had this for years. Uh, so PlayStation 5 integration is automatically going to kick into that gaming mode. 
and really do a great job here for very fast gaming performance. The HDMI 2.1 feature that does matter for movies, for sports, for streaming, for, uh, for broadcast, for any of that other content is enhanced audio return channel. Now, enhanced audio return channel to me is very important because I want the best audio quality to go with my best video quality. So this means any of your Dolby Atmos content, any of your DTS content, any of your um, that's coming through the TV is going to be out fed out to our audio systems in full uncompressed Dolby Atmos performance. Now, it's very important that your receiver also supports ER capability, which all the Sony ES receivers do. Uh, but we have this ERC capability on the 900H and above. So all TVs uh, looking at the best possible picture quality are also going to support the best possible audio quality. So when somebody gets on, you know, starts looking at HDMI 2.1, it's really important to ask, why do you need HDMI 2.1? And if they say, hey, because I'm going to have that PS5 and that new Xbox that's here for Christmas and I want all this capability, yeah, a 900H is probably your best bet. But if it's just about, and, you know, just about picture quality, uh, you know, the, man, we don't really need HDMI 2.1. We want that best audio quality, and that's really what, what matters for our uh, from, you know, for, with our, our TVs is that best possible picture quality, that best possible audio quality. So really nice premium design here on the 900H series. Uh, again, real sleek, real thin panels. Uh, step out a little bit out of the way here. Uh, you've got a, uh, a, you know, that full jack pack on these TVs, the full complement to features uh, with the X1 HDR processing, the uh, Dolby Atmos uh, and X-Balance speakers. This actually does have additional speakers, high effect speakers on it and our Android, Apple TV, and uh, Alexa integration. The 950H, uh, yeah, so all the, for all those great capabilities the 900 has, the 950H is your best picture quality. And the reason it has all the check marks on it here on this one are for, is for picture quality. So when we look at the X1 Ultimate that's in this TV, this is really what we're talking about. We're adding things like our dual database processing, our object-based super resolution, our uh, our super bit mapping for our, our color, we're adding our uh, lots and lots of picture quality capabilities here with the, uh, the 950H. The X1 Ultimate Processor is the powerhouse that makes this TV the, uh, the picture quality that it is. And what this is doing is taking all of that great uh, processing we did in the other TVs, but breaking it down into two separate elements. We have a picture quality database that's instead of using 16 points of control here with our object-based super resolution, we're breaking this down to hundreds of points of control. So many, many times more uh, resolution uh, details that can be broken down and enhanced with the X1 Ultimate. We're also breaking out a completely separate database for noise. So we can figure out what happened with the, the noise in the image and help to clean that up and get rid of that in the image. We're looking at things like color banding. Uh, you know, the super bit mapping on the X1 Ultimate is, is absolutely phenomenal. When you have scenes that have a lot of color gradations in them, uh, sunsets and you know, whether it's a bright scene, a dark scene, it's real common to get this color banding in an image. And once you've get, seen color banding, you can never unsee it. And I don't care what kind of calibration you do, you can't fix this. This can only be fixed by proper processing. And with our super bit mapping, we absolutely get rid of color banding. And every critic, every reviewer out there has said, so nobody does this like Sony. Others try and they fail and they fail miserably. We absolutely get rid of color banding without scrubbing out the detail, and it works with all resolutions of signal, all formats, all, all color bandwidths. We can do this better than anybody in the industry. With our Extended Dynamic Range Pro software, we're taking our panel dimming, or, you know, our, our, our full array local dimming, and putting it on steroids by being able to modify the amount of power that's going to each of these zones and redirecting power to where it's needed more to overdrive zones. We get even better brightness, better contrast. We get six times the dynamic range of 900 with a 950 series. So better blacks, better brightness, better dynamic range and overall contrast capability with the 950H series. 
we get X wide angle. So, you know, typically with TVs uh, and LED TVs, you have to choose between a VA or an IPS panel. VAs give you a very narrow viewing angle, but great black level and contrast. IPS panels give you a very wide viewing angle, but very poor uh, contrast and black level. With a, our X wide angle panel on our uh, 950H series, on a 55, 65, 75, and 85, you don't have to make that choice. You get all that great black level and contrast of our VA panels, but with the viewing angle of a, of a IPS type panel. So really can sit anywhere in the room with the X wide angle panel on the 958 series. It's not available on the 49 though, 55 and above. You get even better picture quality with our IMAX Enhanced. You get even better sound quality with our ambient optimization, where it actually has a microphone and the remote control that's calibrating the audio to the room. Uh, you get um, uh, our best design here, our premium design. Uh, I love the, uh, the outboard feet design here uh, on the, uh, the 950H. It can either go outboard or inboard as you're, uh, you're seeing it right here. So you really get good flexibility on how it's placed on your cabinet. Uh, and tabletop stand. And of course, all fully wall mountable. All of our TVs are full Visa compliant. So we have the X1 ultimate processor, X wide angle for our widest viewing angle, six times the dynamic range, that dual database processing, a whole lot of picture quality advancements over the 900H. So where the 900H ch checks off a lot of those feature boxes, this is checking off all these picture quality boxes. We get uh, the uh, um, even better audio performance out of it, and we get uh, that, that Android TV, Apple AirPlay, Amazon Alexa uh, connectivity all continues. When you go to our Z8H, this gets in, us into our 8K displays. Uh, our 8K displays have expanded from the Z9G of last year. The Z9G 85 and 98 uh, continue, the 98 through the, uh, until next year. The 85 Z9G will be phased out here late summer, uh, but that one does continue here for the time being. What we've done with the Z8H is we've taken everything we did great about the Z9G with that ultimate processor and made it into a little bit more consumer friendly package. The only real downside that we had with the Z9G was it was big due to its backlight system, but we've taken that and really trimmed it down, but we've kept everything great that we were doing that made the Z9G the best 8K TV money could buy. All that, uh, that X reality, uh, pro processing we were doing in 4K world. Well, we're now doing that with the dual database system in the 8K world. Hundreds of points of control, dual database for noise and detail, color contrast and clarity is as good as it gets here with our 8K displays. We're getting our extended dynamic range pro that goes from a six times the dynamic range in the 850 series to 14 times the dynamic range. More points of control, higher uh, uh, brightness capability, more drive capability. This is, this is the brightest, most dynamic 8K TV that, you, that money can buy here for 2020. So really amazing performance here with the Z8H. You get that X wide angle, you get that uh, X motion clarity. You do get HDMI 2.1 support for 4K 120 and our 8K at 60 Hertz uh, capability here with the, uh, with the Z8H. Uh, a really slick one slate design uh, that sits nearly flat when it's on a, a tabletop application. And of course, it's fully Visa wall mountable and everything. And it's about, it's considerably slimmer, 30% slimmer than last year's Z9G, which with much, much thinner bezels. So you really, that's a, a really nice improvement in design with the Z8H. It's also available in a wider range of sizes with both a 75 and 85 this year. And remember, I did the Z9G and the 80 and the 98 inch will continue into next year. So uh, if you want to go, go really big, uh, it, is amazing. it is available there with the Z9G. And again, really sleek, I think really great design here with the Z8H. So that X1 Ultimate Processor, extended dynamic range, 8K with 14 times the dynamic range of a 900 series. That full array local dimming LED, X wide angle, IMAX enhanced, our acoustic multi-audio, X balance speakers. This one does have the ability to operate as a center channel and it does have the full Android, Apple and Alexa integration capabilities. So some really great features here with the Z8H. All right, OLEDs. 
So uh, when we talk about OLED, the A8H is our new OLED for this year. Uh, it is a really nice upgrade from the A8G. Uh, also, when we look at OLEDs, the A9G in the 65, 55, and 77 continue uh, here for all of 2020. Uh, so that will be our step up. And then the A9, A8H is going to be the new entry OLED. To call it an entry OLED is kind of a, an insult, though, because it has the ultimate processing. It has a lot of big, big upgrades from the A8G. The ultimate processor giving it up 40% more, uh, or double the processing power, I'm sorry. Uh, the optimized color of uh, pixel contrast booster. Uh, the acoustic surface, even better audio, and 60% faster uh, performance with the new Android system on chip. This is an amazing TV, very, actually extremely close picture quality wise to the A9G. There's very, very small differences here. Pixel crawl, uh, contrast booster, what this is doing for us is this is correcting the problems with OLED. The big problem that you run into with OLED is they are not as bright as an LED. That's a given. But in the efforts to make OLEDs brighter, there has really been a sacrifice of color accuracy. OLEDs are great color accuracy at, at low to mid-level brightness, but when they get really bright, they really do sacrifice color. We have overcome this obstacle with the factory OEM panel with our pixel contrast boost. Knowing how that panel responds, we know how to uh, maintain color accuracy as we get bright. Now, as a result, if you look simply on the spec, we are not quite as bright as the, com as the competitor's OLEDs. We're about 50 to 100 nits less brightness than the competitive OLEDs when you look at the spec. But when you look at real world content, which I, you know, who, who out there looks at color pa test patterns? Not many, you know, not many of us. I do occasionally, my wife thinks I'm nuts for it, but we're not looking at test patterns. We are looking at real world content. When it comes to looking at real world content, our pixel contrast boost maintains color accuracy and brightness. And when you look at these side by side with the other guys, you're gonna be hard pressed to actually see any brightness difference. But our color accuracy is maintained so much better at the top end of the spectrum. It has the best motion. Our X motion clarity has been expanded to our OLED. So you know, again, we absolutely kill it when it comes to motion processing. Nobody can touch us in this category. So when you have that in a really great slim design here with the OLEDs, let me back out of the way here so you can kind of see this here. Uh, we have a, a tabletop mount, which it sits flat or a tabletop mount where it sits a little bit higher. Uh, so you can fit a sound bar or a center channel below the TV. The A8H in a 55 and 65 has the power of our ultimate processor. It has the power of our pixel contrast boost. It has the, uh, our power of our motion processing. And when you combine processing, pick, uh, color accuracy, and the control of the panel that we, that we do here, that's what makes the A8H better than the competitive uh, OLEDs that are out there. Now, again, a lot of the reviewers and stuff are out there saying, oh, well, I like the other guy better only because it has this. Well, I don't care. I'm not game. If gaming is my sole function, okay, maybe that makes a little bit of a difference, but only again, then if you're playing on those dozen or so games that actually support those features. For everything else, if picture quality is your main concern, man, our OLEDs are the king of televisions past two years running, and I fully expect us. Unfortunately, the full, uh, uh, the full TV shootout has been uh, really kind of put off this year because of COVID, uh, but I would have no doubt that we, will, we would win that again if it was the full shoot, you know, if we're seeing a full shootout here. So hopefully that is still gonna happen. Now the Master Series, the, uh, the A9G, like I mentioned, does still continue. There is a reason why you still wanna to go to an A9G in a 55, 65, or 77. And really it comes down to a couple of you know, key elements about how we build our Master Series TVs. Our Master Series program is, our, is, a, is really three key elements. One, going undergoing a very strict internal evaluation. When OLED panels and LED panels are manufactured, there is a, a, a given tolerance of how good these panels can be. You know, the panels that don't meet the, the highest tolerance then get graded into like an A, B, and C, D uh, grades. The very lowest are, are complete rejects. The, the mid-level panels go to entry-level panels or that just barely qualify go to entry-level TVs. 
The mid-level panels go to your better TVs. The best panels go to the best, highest-end televisions. Now, we are extremely picky about this. When you look at panel uniformity when it comes to OLED and LEDs, we are the best in the industry because we are very picky about what panels go into our displays. And with our, OLED, uh, with our Master Series, we're even more selective. So these undergo a very strict individual certification process here where we, we, uh, we pick out only the best panels to go into a Master Series display. So that's gonna give you better panel uniformity, better color accuracy, better brightness uniformity, really a, a better built TV from the ground up. We incorporate our industry leading hardware and technologies. And then finally, they undergo a very strict internal uh, individualized calibration process before they leave the factory. So while T Sony TVs across the board are more accurate than anything else when they leave the factory, the master series are individually calibrated to have the best possible color ac accuracy as they leave the factory. So even uh, you know, you're doing an ISF level calibration to it, you're gonna get an even better performance with the master series, and it's gonna be a whole lot easier to get there. Now, I do have more information available on uh, the master series. I, I will be uh, uh, sending out uh, the, uh, the, the deck here, uh, so it will have these links if you wanna view the master series video here, and learn more about what master series can do for us. The reason I'm also talking about this is we have one new master series TV coming out this year, and that's gonna be the A9S. This guy's gonna be shipping late August, early September timeframe for a 48 inch OLED, uh, master series OLED. So with the X1 Ultimate, everything we're doing great about the A9G series, all that master series uh, perfection. The only thing that this does not do that we do have in the A9Gs is the, uh, this one does not have the center channel mode. All right, so, oh boy, almost up on time. So I'm about to wrap up here. So looking at sound quality real quick. Our X balance speakers are on all TVs from the 800H and above. And what this does for us is it's kind of like a funky six by nine speaker here. It's this weird oval shape, but basically what this has allowed us to do is to get much, a uh, much better full range dynamic speaker in a very, very thin low profile system. So if you are using these TVs uh, for audio on their own, well, we should really try and sell a sound bar or some type of external sound system. But if you got to do it, we're going to give you better sound than anybody out there. When we go to the 900H, we actually get two sets of drivers. We have our bottom firing drivers, which are your main speakers, and then there's top firing drivers for Dolby Atmos effect speakers. With the 950H, you get by amplification. More power on those main drivers, separate amplification for the top drivers. When we go to the Z8s, we get that, uh, that frame tweeter, we get those top firing, we get our main speakers, we get bass drivers. We get a really great full range of sound with our Z8H series panels. Uh, so it is a very solid on its own, but even more important, this can be used as a center channel. Our acoustic surface OLEDs with our Z8H and our A9G OLEDs turn the entire panel into a set of speakers using our, our actuator on glass along with the additional bass drivers in our acoustic surface OLEDs. But here's how we can really incorporate this into your, into your sound systems. Center channel mode. The A9Gs, Z8H, A9, and Z9Gs can all operate as a center channel. So on the back of the TV, you actually have speaker connections. You take speaker wire from your receiver to the, uh, to the TV, you do a one-time setting and tell the TV it's a center channel speaker, and this eliminates the need for you to put a separate center channel in the system. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, because center channels mounted in the ceiling are awful. It's not because they're a bad speaker, it's because they're in the ceiling and the TV's down here, and your voices are coming from the, ce from the ceiling. Why do we do acoustically transparent screens with projectors? So my voice comes from the image. That is why this, a TV as a center channel speaker is a huge advantage. Uh, this gets rid of bad center channel placement. And yes, I know we all want to sell a nice center channel, but you getting better sound out of this TV as a center channel versus having a bad center channel placement is going to win you a whole lot more fans and rave reviews out of this system than just selling an extra speaker into the system. Oh, and you want a clean install? Man that really, really can do it for you. So if you can't place your center channel properly, I really encourage you to look at our TVs with the center channel capability. 
Uh, we do have so uh, you know, looking at the uh, the Android applications on these TVs. I know some people in the past have complained, oh my gosh, I don't like Sony TVs because the Android is slow. I still see critics, you know, commenting about, oh, Sony TVs, nope, Android, it's out. Hey, anybody who's still complaining about a Sony TV being, uh, or Android process being slow has not used a Sony TV in a couple of years. Set ever since the 900F series, the, uh, the, when we started going to the Oreo operating system, they got way faster. When we went to the system on chip design and the master series TVs of, of, the, uh, of two years ago, our upper end TVs of last year, and now system on chip of every TV in the line hundred, lineup above the 800, 800H and above, these things are lightning fast. There are more apps, there is more capability in a Sony Android TV than any other television out there. It's an ad-free system that gives you the absolute fastest performance out there. Uh, we get really great integration with third-party systems such as Amazon and Alexa, Apple AirPlay, and, uh, and HomeKit integration, and of course, Google Chromecast capability and uh, Google Home capability. So really great voice control really easy to cast and, and, and throw content up on the screens. It is an extremely flexible platform. Now, occasionally I'll get that comment saying, uh, you know, hey, that specific cable company app I'm looking for is not here. Okay, and we get that. There are some financial uh, factors in play that are keeping some, some apps off of Android TVs. Uh, okay, fine, buy a $50 box and, and put it on a Sony TV. You can always add an app to a TV but I cannot put $50 on any other brand television and give you Sony picture quality. If a specific app you're not looking for isn't here, you know, just add it to, uh, to, uh, to the system with that external box. We do have a great wall mounting solution for it, for these TVs. Of course, all TVs are, are fully Visa compliant, but we do have our own great wall mount bracket that's extremely thin, uh, pull out swivel wall mount bracket that works on all TVs, A8H uh, and uh, 800H, 950H, uh, 900H TVs for this year up to 75 inches. If you want more detail about this video, click on the, uh, the link here in the presentation. Uh, and then finally, what makes a Sony TV a Sony TV? Man, it's about our picture processing. I already talked about a lot of this. If you've been to one of my trainings before, you know, 23 years of dominance in picture processing technology. Our lens to living grim story that no other television manufacturer can match. Nobody else produces content the way that we do. Things like our, you know, uh, our filmmakers mode that the other guys are, are starting to rave about. Oh, nice. thanks for joining the party, guys. We've been doing filmmakers mode for a decade now. It's called our custom mode. Simply put, we have the most accurate color out there. And industry professionals across the board agree that nobody does picture quality like Sony does. That's why our partnerships are so strong we're, we're across all technologies and uh, movie studios. Everybody out there simply knows that we do it right. Uh, so our finally our put, our, we have resources available for you guys. Uh, our Sony dealer source and Sony premium home. If you need ad uh, copy, you need uh, you know, uh, stuff like that is on Sony dealer source. That is password protected. You'll have to uh, get permission to go there. But Sony uh, premium home is the site that's open to everybody. It's made for our channel. It's got all your detailed dimension drawings. It's got your, uh, all your cut sheets, all your comparison charts. Tons and tons of great info here on Sony Premium Home. We have our dedicated ES support line. This is only for CI dealers. Absolutely do not give this number out to consumers. But if you need service in the field, 866-924-7669. Uh, Chad, Eric, Tony, Sean, these guys know our channel. They know our products. They're going to back you up like nobody else can. And then, of course, my contact info here. Uh, my email, my information here. So uh, um, I am also going to be, uh, we do have a couple other things happening here. Uh, very limited time. I can't talk about everything here today, but um, I am working on more audio trainings, more trainings on projectors. And also we are had we have some very exciting announcements uh, a few weeks ago that our professional line of products is now available to our channel. Uh, so our pro panels, our pro projectors, uh, our pro pan tilt zoom camera systems, uh, some really amazing stuff is now available. So if you're in any of these, uh, you know, pro, you know, from a, from a light professional market to, 
you know, doing an entire corporate campus, you want to get in on some of my trainings, uh, check with your, uh, your capital reps there and uh, they'll get you the links over to, uh, to do those trainings. I'm actually jumping, doing a pro TV training here in about 10 minutes as soon as we wrap up. So uh, lots and lots of trainings coming. So that said, uh, do we have any questions out there? Uh, how's it looking, Chris? Uh, we do have one question. Uh, basically, do we have a PDF available for all of the uh, comparisons between the various models? Absolutely. So I'll uh, make sure I get that over to you uh, here, uh, here a little bit later on today. Uh, we do have some new uh, PDF comparison charts, uh, one, uh, one, one sheet uh, deals. I think those are going to be available uh, here, uh, here. Actually, if they're not already available, I saw, I saw a rough draft on it uh, here uh, just last week. So I'll make sure I get that over to you all uh, here as soon as possible for distribution. And the next question is under the Android uh, TV, will it support Cody as well? Do we know? Uh, yes, it does. It does support Cody. Uh, I've been running it here at the house. Uh, not a not a huge user of it, but it does support Cody. Great. Is there any other questions, right. guys? Uh, great Thank time. Guys. We got Andrew right here on there. Uh, if you, we know how it all goes. As soon as we get off, ten minutes down the road, an hour down the road, and next week a question pops up. Feel free to reach out to Andrew. Uh, feel free to reach out to myself. Any of your account managers at Capital Sales. We're all here to help you out. So uh, one other thing, uh, uh, voice control. Uh, do you want to go into that uh, at all? Yeah, sure thing. So voice control is uh, is very capable on the TVs. Uh, I use it all the time. You know, it's you know, it's a very as simply put as you know, saying "Hey Google," and the you know, I can be, be careful how I say that. My my house will start responding here. But uh, yeah, you can do voice search. Uh, you can search for content. You've got more and more voice control commands. Uh, there are actually uh, some indicator. We can change picture modes, inputs, volume. There's a uh, there's a lot more uh, voice control on the H series, and it is growing, uh, and that is on the 800 H series and above. So uh, quite a you know the, uh, really the only TV you don't get voice control on is that 750 series. Great. Well, thanks guys. Uh, do you guys have any more questions? Uh, we'll hold off for another uh, minute or so just to see if anything rolls in. We did cover a lot today. There's a lot of really cool new uh, Lions products uh, going on. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, guys, because we are all in the CI industry, uh, make sure when you're specking a product with a control system, uh, always go 800 and above. Absolutely. Okay. That's one of the biggest things to keep in mind if you're doing any type of control, external control of the TVs, always go 800 and above. Uh, will this be webinar be available online? Yes, we have recorded it. Uh, it will be going on the Capital Sales YouTube channel, uh, and we will have documentation as well to go with it. Uh, if you reach out to your, your Capital Sales account manager, we can get you that too. Well, if there is no other questions, guys, uh, Andrew, I know you got a training here coming up soon. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day. And everybody that attended, uh, thank you for taking time out of your day to learn about the new Sony lines. You bet, Chris. Thanks for putting this together, and thanks everybody for attending. Let me know if you have any other.